make dinner for my family and I thought I would bring you along. Um, we are going to have a beef pot pie for dinner and I am right now getting ready to prepare the pie crust. So what I have in the bowl right now is 198 grams of freshly milled soft wheat berries. that I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to mix the salt into the flour and then what I'm going to do is grate one stick of butter into the flour. I like grating my butter into the flour because it gives the right consistency. So now I'm just going to mix in those shreds into the flour, making sure they get all coated and mixed throughout. I did a good reminder is to make sure that after you mill the flour to put it in the freezer to get that flour cooled down. So next we're going to add some ice cold water. I'm going to add a tablespoon at a time. going to check here to see if we can, can put it in a ball yet. It's almost there. I'm going to say one more tablespoon. Get this into a ball. And there we have it. We're going to stick this in the fridge and let this chill while we make the filling. Okay, to begin with, I'm just going to heat up my cast iron skillet. And to this, I'm going to add two pounds of ground beef. Now that we've got our two pounds of ground beef in here, I'm just going to get this picked up. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Some farm dust. While the hamburger is cooking, we're going to go ahead and slice up some onions. We're going to get these diced up so we can add this. This is one of those quick, easy meals I like to do during the week. You know, I'm a busy mom, works full time, my husband works full time, but we still want to, you know, feed our family nice. We want to feed our family good, nutritious meals, and so I like to pack a lot into this, nutrition-wise, as, as much as I can. I'm also going to go ahead and cut up some carrots to add to that. I'm going to do the traditional pot pie fillings, the carrots, the peas, and potatoes. And I'm just going to save all these scraps to make some more beef bone broth. So, that'll be good. And now we're just going to add this to our meat. I'm going to 
also add some garlic powder. And again, I like to layer my seasoning, so I'm going to add some more pepper and some more of that farm dust. So while the hamburger was cooking, I did run downstairs into my pantry and get some potatoes, some beef bone broth, and some sweet peas. And I also got some freeze-dried zucchini. I also had a little bit of kale on my garden, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And a little bit of nettle. Okay, I'm going to add the beef bone broth. I'm just going to work on getting the little bits and pieces up from the bottom. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes. Get those mixed in, and then I'm going to also add in some sweet peas. I'm going to get my oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to add in that freeze-dried zucchini so that freeze-dried zucchini is going to absorb some of that liquid again I'm just going to salt and pepper it <clears throat> and then the thickening agent I'm using is arrowroot, so I'm going to put some arrowroot in here. Okay, I'm going to turn it down to low and then I'm going to roll out my pie crust. how to work with that fresh milled flour so not too awful bad the most important thing is how does it taste so I'm gonna put this in the oven and cook it until the pie crust is done okay friends there you have it beef pot pie I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one bye